Hey everybody, TB Jones here, and welcome back to more Super Mario Land 2! Mario lost the house keys! Last time, we made it to, well, I guess you could say Mario's Land, because this is his own private island with his own mansion and stuff. We finished up Tree Zone, beat the first boss of the game, got our first golden coin, and now we are off to... the Micro Zone. Where we are now, officially, the Micro Machine Man. I gotta say, some of these levels are really creative, even though they do, at times, reuse enemies. Like, like the ants. Like, it makes more sense here. And also, it hits me really hard at home with the fact that we're ants trying to get into a house. Because it makes more sense for ants to be, like, on the ground and stuff, or, like, in an anthill outside the house. But why were there ants inside, like, the treetops and tree zone? It makes no sense. Uh, be careful of the death water down there. Need to make sure we don't get it. We got another uh, bunny ears if we want to grab it. I accidentally did. I probably should have saved it just in case I screw this up. But nope, we're good. Duck down here and grab some more coins. We are already up to 409 coins. And we might actually hit the 999 by the end of this video. So if we do, then we'll head off and we'll do some, a little bit of gambling. Just know, I do not actually promote gambling. After all, I didn't really even do that in New Vegas, and that was the hub of gambling. Oh god, the, the frames, they chug. Got ourselves another bunny ears. They really want you to use the bunny ears in this level. I get it because it's like precision platforming and you have to time everything better. Over not getting killed with the death water. Duck down here. Jump up here. And let's get all these coins. Dodge the spiky ant. Hopefully the frames don't die on me as well. And just wait for a platform to come in. It's weird how Mario ducks hit his arms are never moving. Like, they just stay stationary no matter what. Oh, right! That's a beginner's trap! And I was stupid enough to fall for it. I think what you're supposed to do is you need to jump up here, burn that out, and then take, tank some hits from the ant. So you become small Mario to be able to get in there. Oh well. That, that is a trap. No matter how many times I play, it always gets me in this level. And I wish I could, because I don't think I've ever seen what's down there. It's probably just another puzzle to get a uh, one-up. path we can take. Here. I can't. There we go. Nice to be out of that anthill. Up here is a bonus room. Wow, just... Fast shut us right up into the air and right into the last part of the level. Well, since we're already here, might as well go for it. I was going to show off all the bonus levels at the end of the game before we went uh, into Warrior's Mansion. But I guess, well, might as well show off this one since we already unlocked it. Sad thing is, that means we're going to have to replay the ant level, which, eh, it's not that bad. It'll also give me a second chance at getting that other spot. I don't know if that leads to another alternate path, or that leads to uh, just a one-up thing. Come on, come on, bounce, bounce! Damn it! Try it again. We're small Mario now, so at least it should be a little bit better for us. Just don't show kind of precision platforming, and I just... I don't think there's even any enemies in this level, so it's not really something I need to worry about. Just need to not choke when it comes to platforming. Because 
As we all know, I never choke when it comes to this kind of stuff. I really wish I could have gotten all those lovely coins. Oh, oh they're taunting me. Like about the fire flowers, it follows a set path, and you need to judge it. So try again to get those lovely coins, and then try again with the fire flower. Like I say, this game is easy, but then you come to the challenge um, areas, and I will admit. These are pretty hard, mostly because it's over death pits. There's never a one that's enemy focused. Guess we're gonna max out our bank here, and then gamble it all away. Man, that's a tried and true story. Single block platforming, my worst enemy. Okay, we made it. And like that, we can just sur bypass the entire of Microzone and just go right to the boss. But of course, we're not going to do that. All right, I'll see you back where we left off, just because I doubt you want to see me go through the same shenanigans all over again. All right, the bane of my plumbing existence, and I just screwed that part up. All right, fine. Yep, made it. Didn't even need to tank a hit. Head down here, and what do we got? A one up. The coin. A two up. And a three up. Uh, that is weird. Like, this one, this one, and this one all have one up hearts. This one, yep, just has a coin. All four of them would be one-ups, but whatever. At least I finally get to see what is down there, and this place will never taunt me ever again. You know what? Let's celebrate by burning some ants. These, little gu These guys have had it coming for too long. Every single summer they invade my house, and every single summer I have to murder like a whole battalion of them. I guess we don't really get much of a rent revenge because we are at the end of the level. Already, 20 lives, 500, nearly 600 coins. Like I said, we're probably going to be doing a lot of gambling by the end of this video. No, I actually do not promote gambling. Especially when it comes to crane games, because you will always suck at them. Alright, and now going from an anthill outside the house, it is time for us to try and get into the house. Alright, fine, I guess we'll stick with the fire flower we have. It's a blue beetle, apparently DC's gonna get... I can hear DC's lawyers revving up their lawsuits right now. Alright, those things just float. I could just want that they, they, like, tried to ground pound you, but yeah, whatever. Please get in the house, thank you. And I just immediately lost my power. Thankfully there there's a bunny ears right here. Of course that what good is that gonna do me while I'm swimming underwater? I don't know. And I can't even do my drill uh, spin to damage any of the cheap cheeps down here. I like to think that this is like Mario's guest house. He doesn't let anyone live in his mansion. He just gives them this guest house. He's like, you stay over here, you filthy plebeian. While I decide to live in this glorious mansion. You can have this tiny ant-filled, fish-filled house to all to yourself. Ah, I was too busy 
talking all high and mighty, I've missed out on getting two one ups somewhere. It's not like we're it's not like we're struggling with lives right now. I think we got more than enough at this point. Although I will say, it is best to get as many lives as you can going into the final level of the game because it is a big challenge and you're probably gonna be burning through most of your lives going through that level. Yo, I wanna squish you! I feel like I just bypassed a whole bunch of hazards. Oh well. We're at the end of the level. Ring the bell. Go through the gates. And it's a mice. Alright, we got those two. Uh, let's go for the first one. We'll, we'll be basic this time. And we got bunny ears. Great. They, nothing of value was gained or lost. I've grown into myself again. Got some turtles, got some Goombas. Got even more bunny ears. They just really want you to get your vitamin C, apparently. The mechanic in this world, or I guess in this level, is just these automatic floors. I think we can go up this way. Yep. And get a whole smorgasbord of coins. Of course, you gotta time it right or else the Goomba's just immediately gonna attack you the second you come down, so don't go up there if you're small, Mario. And of course, I don't have Fire Fire with me to break that open. I think there might be one down here, though, so it will require you to backtrack a bit. Star power. All right. No, I must get you. I want to squish. Also, I completely screwed up the star power. You were supposed to go through the pipes and then run back and get all the Koopas. Oh well. Oh you, oh you, evil, evil, evil! How did they expect you to get up to that? There's no, like, alternate path outside the top of the chimney here, and they also want you to go into a... Oh, there it is. I was just like, how could you, monsters? Oh. Is there... No. I guess you need to long jump from here. You just need to be really precise with your jumps. And also hit the jump button at the right time. It's really hard to do with the single platforms. There we go. So I guess what we're going through here, I might as well talk about the other Mario Land games, Mario Land 1 and Mario Land 3. I've played a little bit of them because this is the game I played most out of all three. I didn't actually even play the first or third one until a couple weeks ago this year. And Mario Land 1, in my opinion, graphic-wise, this is a vast improvement. It, honestly, it looks very minuscule when it comes to this. I guess, well, it's the first in the series, so of course it was going to look the most lackluster. Wario Land, well, it set the staples for one of my favorite Mario spin-off games, and of course, the fourth one is the all-time best, and that is a proven fact, and you can never prove me wrong on it. It's fun! I might actually play through both of Mario Land 1 and Mario Land 3, either like on a stream, or maybe make it into its own video, who knows. And we got some more vitamin C. Just carrots, carrots all over the place. Alright. Time to go... Into the bedroom. Or I guess, the library. And playing one of my personal favorite themes again. Definitely gets its mileage when we get into Pumpkin Zone. I think this is the only stone that actually even plays while you're in Pumpkin Zone. Oh, right! Witches! Um, they steal 1-ups. The best way to tell if a witch is going to appear is if you try to grab the 1-up before it hits the ground and you just phase right through it. You just gotta chase them down, grab the 1-up, and bitch yours. Otherwise, they make off with it and you get in the way. Which, that, that's something that hits a little too close to home for me. 
Nope, nothing up there. Oh, I feel like we can get up there. Of course, I'm probably gonna kill myself doing so. Nope. ourselves with bunny ears. I kind of prefer it over the the fire flower, but only because, A, this is the only time it actually ever shows up in a Mario game. Although I feel like it was maybe an accessory in, like, Odyssey or something like that. If not, then why did they pass up such an opportunity to play play something that was in a Mario game that not a whole lot of people talk or play about, or play with? Yep, another witch. Of course, I instantly steal it from her. It's kind of, it's really satisfying when that happens. Alright, looks like I'm going into the boss as either small or regular Mario. Hurry! Oh. I am dying a lot in this uh, game. Usually I can just breeze right through all these levels. It must be the recording curse. Besides the fact that I just haven't done this in over like three to four plus years. Or years. Months! Okay, I have no one to blame but myself for that one because I accidentally held the controller down. Just, the LP curse strikes back and strikes back with a vengeance. For, through the four plus months not doing this, and yeah, it kind of shows. And by kind of, I mean it really shows. I like to say that these blue Goombas here are just an homage to, or I guess would be an homage that was done in Paper Mario when we had, like, the first mini-boss of the game, and it was a red and blue Goomba. I'm pretty sure that's probably what, what from these guys came from. Alright, what dastardly beast lurks within these walls? It's a mouse. Yep. It's just a mouse. Cute little mouse. He squeaks, he falls, and he goes through the pipes. Very easy, boss. Kind of prefer the, I guess maybe the fire flower would be more preferable to the um, bunny ears for this. We can just shoot at him when he comes after you out of the walls. But eh, whatever, we beat him. We got our second coin. Now you you might see that oh we missed a slot shouldn't we have gone back and gotten that? Well, that goes to Moon Zone. Moon Zone, I always feel like it, since it's the most grandiose of the levels in this game, I always hold it off for last. So that empty slot's gonna be there to bug people for a long time. But with that said and done, I feel like we're, this is a good place to end things off. We're probably just going to do one zone per video just because a lot of the zones are really short or I guess really lengthy. I thought these were all pretty short, but no, it's like four, sometimes five levels, especially if I pull a me and go for the bonus levels as well in the same video. But with that said and done, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Next time on Mario Land 2 Since Golden Coins, we are going to enter the spooky, creepy, haunting pumpkin zone. Yep, Mario has his own graveyard, com complete with witch. Alright, so see you guys next time. Later.